Hey folks, Tyler Edlin here. I'm an artist and designer, and I've used Macs for the last 15 years, but now I'm on PC. This week on Facebook, we were talking with some friends on, you know, concept artists should only use PC, or why do people use Macs? Since I recently switched over to be a more prominent PC user, I thought I'd share my experiences with using both, and of course, why I ultimately made the transition, and whether or not it was the best choice for me. And, and of course, I could also make some recommendations based off your own interests and design needs, what might be the best options for you. So we'll get into my setup and we'll talk PC versus Mac today. So from 2005 till literally this year in 2021, I was primarily a Mac user. It's kind of what they got me into at school. I, I was kind of against it at, at the start, uh, but I started to really like the simplicity of them because I am not a very technically oriented person. I, I don't understand computer architecture. I'm not, I'm not any kind of programmer and I know very little about hardware and specs. So right right off the gate, I, I would say Macs are great for people that aren't computer people, which is kind of what I've always considered myself to be. So right, I, I work on that I mostly, or well, all for the most part, 2D, right? And that, that's using uh, the Adobe suite of software primarily, uh, especially back then there wasn't many competitors, not like there is today. So right, I would use like InDesign, Illustrator, Photoshop, of course, and maybe the occasional Coral Painter. And of course, these creative softwares were literally born on, on the Macintosh. They, they really are optimized for them above all else. And, and it, they have a very streamlined workflow. Things just kind of work, um, connect. Um, so the big benefit of being a digital creator on a Apple platform is the stability. I have not really seen any kind of parallel that surpasses that in that regard yet. The best part too about some of these products, I particularly use the iMac line. I've had a, two MacBooks over the years. Of course, the phones, which are fine. Um, but you know, just in terms of professional work, I use the iMacs, which again, another benefit of those is they have kind of built in, the last one I had had a built in 5K monitor which absolutely looks stunning. Um, and I have some higher end Dell ones now. I haven't created on any kind of better monitor uh, than the one that comes built in with the iMac. Of course, the problem is uh, with using these iMacs is that you can't upgrade them. So, and they are built pretty good, I would say, like from a hardware perspective, like I, I haven't had any that failed on me ever. And of course, I know some of you out there will have those problems, but for me, I never did, but so every every about four years, I would then just kind of upgrade, and I'd sell off my old one to you know whoever, usually a family member. I just kind of like a hand me down. They give me a, I give them a deal on it, and then put that money toward the new one, and you know after migrating files, which again something on the Mac that I like better than the PC is just using their AirDrop and and file sharing and transferring in general, especially you know, between other Apple, uh, Apple products just talk together, right? Very, very well. Um, and they're very, very fast. Never, never had a problem. And I'm always, and still looking for comparable solutions on my PC now. So there's a pro and a con, right? With, with the products working as good as they do and, and lasting a long time is that, yeah, you do want to upgrade eventually. And th that's the big fault here is like, you really can't open up and upgrade the parts. Now, unless him, you're some kind of technical wizard, it, they're not really upgradable. You can like maybe send it to Apple, they'll give you more RAM. You know, you pay them, of course, pay Apple RAM prices, which are very expensive. But yeah, the options are very limited. You usually just kind of cash them in. <laughs> you, gotta, you just get a new one um, when you feel like you need more. So not only do you have to buy a new one, but you know, again, that's another negative for them. Apple products are very expensive. They really focus on form over functionality. So the latest products, you know, I mean, look at their phones alone. They're constantly taking features and, and components out of them to make them look sleeker or slimmer. You know, let's take 
the disk drives out. Let's take, you know, the USB thumb drive ports out. You know, they're taking components, not not including headphone jacks anymore, right? Without their proprietary adapters, right? So they're becoming a little more and more anti-consumer to kind of just for their own selfish needs of being you know, kind of more design oriented which is becoming a bigger and bigger negative but yeah overall though my experience with them as a creator for about 15 years was that i absolutely loved them when they were when i was working on them never had much of a problem the occasional crash here and there like anything sure but by and far i never really had any big problems with them i had to go to like apple care once or twice in the last eight years to kind of fix some minor things but that was it of course now right being 2021 i have now switched over to the pc and i've been running a pc on my main setup which you guys can kind of see here and stuff for about three to four months now i forgot exactly when i got it um, I went with a pre-built for a few reasons. Hey, because parts alone right now are very hard to get. The prices are very jacked up. So I waited for a really, really good sale and I got a top of the line uh, Alienware PC. Very powerful, very new. I like it, it looks, it looks sleek, it has cool colors. I actually really like it. Um, now I'm getting acclimated to Windows for the first time right since the early 2000s i have mixed feelings on it um and and let's go over why i did why because 3d is becoming a staple in my uh, workflow my my project pipeline i'm instantly dropping in and out of vr i'm going into blender i'm bringing them back into 2d and i'm loving it and a lot of these things were not even options to me at all while i created on max because they they simply just didn't communicate well with Apple products. I think Oculus in particular and Apple, don't they don't get along. They have some kind of history, so they didn't make it easy. So I'm trying to you know keep up to date with my own workflows and systems and just kind of evolving. So it was just a natural progression at this point. But essentially the other main reason why I didn't buy uh, build one is because I don't know how. Uh, I, I'm not a technical person. Uh, I don't have any close buddies that I could just easily help me with it. And I'm not ambitious enough to follow one of the many <laughs> online guides. How I don't have the time for that. So yeah, my PC was more than Mac. Usually for most people, they are a cheaper option. And they're, of course, they're scalable. Uh, the PCs, of course, you can upgrade, you can customize. And I think that's why a lot of people, you'd have to let me know below, of course, why a lot of people like PCs in general is that they are very customizable in regards to y y your your budget, uh, your personal preferences. Uh, there, There's just a lot more options. I've never been an option guy though. I just kind of like what works and what's simple. But right at, at the end of the day, it's all preferences. Uh, the downside, of course, running the PC that I've experienced in four months alone is, for me, I spend most of my time still in Photoshop. I'm doing a lot of 3D, but I still spend most time in Photoshop. And with that, I've come to the conclusion, yes, that, of course, it's a lot more stable on Mac OS. I've always seen people complaining about Photoshop and updates and all this stuff in my Facebook feed for years. And I'm like, I don't understand what they're talking about. I'm I'm pretty much updating my version constantly. I'm using the newest one and you know, I don't really have many problems with it ever. But yeah, I'm I'm I can't say that now being on the PC. <laughs> I've got nothing but little hiccups and and issues with it that happen, you know, frequently enough. Little odd glitches even in the not even in Photoshop alone, just like Windows OS has a lot more problems in gen Windows 10 specifically. That's because that's what I'm using. Is not anywhere near as stable and reliable as as Mac in, in, in my experience. It is what it is though. And it's there's still enough similarities you can get in there and do things. But yeah, uh, I would say personally, if, if I were to remain purely a 2D artist and I just wanted to draw and I just wanted to paint, I'd absolutely still stay on the Mac. I'd, I have no reason to get off it. 
uh, it works, it's reliable, it's simple. It just, and, and again, if, even if I didn't want to spend a lot on software, you still got Clip Studio Paint. I, I haven't tried a software like that on a PC, but I mean, I, I'd assume it works pretty well too. But yeah, I think for the average kind of concept artist, for a lot of visual designers that use 3D in any part of their uh, pipeline, whether it's something like a ZBrush, uh, certainly like a 3D coat, um, Gravity Sketch, Medium, or whatever, the Substance Suite, I'm not sure, which I think Adobe does make. I, I don't know how the Substance Suite works on Mac, given how well the rest of the Adobe products work. It just wouldn't make as much sense to use them because you need a lot more processing power to um, really make that work well, which I think the max, once they get over that certain threshold, you know, you're looking at a, one of those five, five grand models, which I still don't think are nearly as powerful as, as the one I, you know, the, I think it was like a little over 4K I spent on the, on the Alienware. So yeah, that's that. And, but I mean, I, it's, it's gonna come down to what your needs are and what your preferences. But yeah, I, I like 3D. I think if you're into 3D, yep, the only way to go is stay on a PC. And, and if you're a VR artist, uh, that's the other way too. But they connect to the PC a lot better. But yeah, you guys, had, had, do you like the new setup? I, I had spent all spring remodeling. I got tired of my dark, dirty basement office in the corner. I was surrounded and drowning in my own memorabilia. So I went with a much cleaner and you know, brighter solution. I, I'll have, of course, the or, you know side by side comparisons but it there is certain existential factor you know factors that you know were kind of hampering my my creativity and I, I felt very kind of claustrophobic and stuck and it made it harder to produce pictures particularly when I was tired so now with a clean setup a brighter setup it's more energetic my mind's not getting caught up on a bunch of crap that's on the walls uh, I, I find it a lot better a lot easier to kind of create and of course I was I think I was inspired to but once Mark Burnett started putting out some videos of his office and I was like I gotta up my I gotta up my deal so yeah I spent quite a bit remodeling my area and of course I did as you guys saw I kept the old Mac I couldn't get rid of it of course it was still good it was 2019 but now I use it primarily as my editing station for the video you know for these videos for all my videos and I do a lot of my biz my business management stuff on that as well and I think that's going to be an upcoming uh, talk that I want to do as well is talk a little bit more about business and maybe even money you guys would have to let me know of course below what your questions are in regards to that and if you do like this kind of quicker unscripted sort of just discussion video because it uh, again my my schedule is heading into full production I have very little time for these these videos and I want to just do them you know just efficiently and you know, as helpful as I can for you guys so you take care and I'll see you soon Hey guys, if you like the illustration at the beginning of the video or just want to improve your art fundamentals at all, I that's going to be included with this month's Patreon drop as well as a splash illustration workshop with Kelly Deli as well as a Blender Basics uh, Part 2 for uh, 2D artists with uh, Robert. So you guys get all that this month for signing up and thank you for your support. This is my life mid-construction. Everything is a pit. This is after. I cleaned it up and this is how I'm getting stuff done. Also doing daddy daycare on side number two.